was that? Who knows? What's up guys, we are in week number two of the Royal Albert Hall training. That is the next competition and today we have a very special gift from Rosha Engineering. Thank you so much RSE. Stay tuned and we'll show you in the video. Let's go train. Let's train. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing 5 3 1 1. Um, I think it is a 5 3 2 or whatever, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's hard to find a balance of keeping your conditioning up with a log but also getting stronger. I think this is the best way because we're not doing like 140, 150 for 8 or 9 reps. We're doing, I'm doing a, five, a top set of 5 and then dropping it down each time. So by the time I get to that single, if I'm hitting 180, 190 fatigued, then much better for me. And I think in my training as well, I'm not wearing sleeves and stuff. Um, Eddie Hall's a big believer in that and I'm trying to go back to when my pressure was quite good and I didn't use any kind of sleeves and stuff and I really feel like I, overall I'm improving big time with not using any kind of supports right now and I'll put them on in a week or two to, to really see where my pressure is but yeah I'm just happy I'm enjoying the gym and that's the main thing you know that's the plan for the day so let's get the first five out of the way and then see after that because cardio innit what did we do last time Gabs? 180? 180 yeah, go up to 180 again. Um, see how it feels. No stress. No stress, no rest. Just blessed. Come on, Tom. Come on. Come on, nice. Good. Got this Tom, come on. Come on. That's far, far. That's good. Come on. Nice, come on. Get it, Tom.
come on. Easy. Come on, look. Come on, man. Got this time, come on. Up. Holy. Jesus Christ. Again. Come on then. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Luke. Easy. Come on. Take it, Luke. Oh, nice. Come on. <laughs> I felt, I felt good, like, I really think 5 3 one's really good for me. Um, I just like how I'm doing 5 reps, but it's that heavy. I mean, 170 for 5 is heavy, you know, and then to do then do 180 for 3, and then in my mind I had 190 for 1. It was good. One, last week I did 180 for 1, this week 190 for 1, especially coming back from LA and that. But I really think my shoulders are possibly the strongest they've ever been, and I've not got a belt on yet, I've not got sleeves on. Even that 190 went away from me a wee bit, but I was still able to catch it with a with a tricep power, so yeah, I really want to maybe to hit 200, no sleeves, and then put the sleeves back on, but I, yeah, I'm really happy with what that. What do you think has helped your pressing the most? You have to log press, that's the main thing, but I really think triceps, you know, something that you do triceps extension, so you're know, behind the neck, obviously the log press is the same as this, so you're going to get strong doing you know, behind the neck tricep extensions, and I really think close grip is honestly one of the best exercises you can do. Close grip as well, like we do a lot in the Smith machines when you can load it up a lot, you know, you can get 120, 130 uh, tricep close grip, sorry, whereas cable push down, you're only getting up to 60, 70 K and you're using body weight as well. So yeah, I really think the tricep um, close grips have really helped kind of develop my tricep power. And like you said there, you know, if I had weak triceps with no sleeves on, I'd be failing at this part, but I was able to push through. But yeah, I'm really happy. Training is different. Everyone can see I'm happy, I'm motivated and uh, yeah, I'm just ready to kind of get to roll out with Hawk because I'm hungry to start competing again and really, I'm really psyched up to. Yeah, it was fun. Um, nothing like special, still not that snap back yet, but, but like the snap will come the next couple of weeks for me and then um, you can push on from there. So, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Sweaty, big sweaty session today. So, yeah, feeling good. Well, we've still not shown you our gift yet. You like that, so excited to, to try that if I'm not too sweaty. Training's been going well the last, last couple of weeks, so everything's just kind of progressing up and up and up. We are doing yoke next. See, I'm not going to go super heavy on it, just kind of get the, the movement again. And then next week, I'll probably start to increase the, the weight a little bit. Just give the knee the respect it deserves, because I don't want that coming back. So, um, yeah, just, just get into it. Yoke, let's do it. Oh, you went to Beyonce, right? How was that? Uh, it was really good. What are you singing? Queen Beyonce, if you're watching this, I love you. If you like it, then you shoot up with a ring on it. Oh, 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 oh. Who rules the world's go? Who rules the world's go? <laughs> Come on. tight today. What have you been doing with those hips, mate? Don't kiss and tell, mate.
six and a half seconds last week. Really? I'm joking, I'm going to do 350 in about 25 seconds. I stopped for a pie on the way. We jobby. Let me look at the sunshine. Right mate, I'm safe at top. Suck a blow. Now we've got two things to go. Done. How was it? Nice. Changed my technique a bit on it and it feels really good now. I'm not wasting a second or two at this time. Um, not what I say much more, but it feels like it's pain all. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. What's next? Um, nickel stones. Can you get that out of my face? when I go like that. Does it? <laughs> we just got a delivery of the nickel handles. Big shout out to Gordon Ingram for staying up late, making these and sending them out for the next day. We're going to test these out and get them on these bad boys and see how they do. All the way to come on. Fine. Just uh, yeah, I kept twisting like that. I, I don't it's, have the. You have to be because it's hard because you're not just lifting, you have to control as well. Eh? Yeah. I think the stones are a bit easier because they don't twist as much, I don't I find, because yeah. like, they're like solid. Eh? So, oh, yeah. I just, yeah, it just rolls around, doesn't it? Because it has to do. Like, as soon as you hit a quad, uh, your, <laughs> no, you hit your uh, leg, the plates roll. Yeah. But the stones won't do that. We did a proper 20 meters and I just held at the end just to feel like. You know, a bit more tension, but we're gonna go heavier next week. 
that's actually our proper, the, the proper replica nickel handles we've been using the dinny ones so it's nice to get on the proper ones I felt more comfortable with them ones so yeah, hopefully we get down to big nickel and get some training done and big thank you again to Orton for making them I appreciate it and uh, we're going to train hard on these and try and yeah every week go heavier do the drops get used to Obviously, hook grip, and then when you drop it, you can't hook grip, so we have to get used to using our fingertips as well. So, they're all good. Um, grip feels dynamite, bruh. The last event of the day is the Atlas Stones, but we've got a surprise. RFC have produced something spicy, and now we have our very own stone platform. platforms all the way down to the last one um, so I've always been quite good at stones it was nice to just actually mimic the exact one because I've never ever had an, a platform like this and uh, yeah hopefully I can just get better and better at stones and keep on dominating so it's going to be good but thank you to RSC for uh, this banging at the stone uh, look at the height of it it's almost as tall as you it's probably about, it's probably about 6 foot 5 the height um, <laughs> So this, uh, apparently the metal used was from uh, the Apollo space station um, back in 1976. Um, so yeah, really solid. Super excited. Thank you RSE. Above and beyond our wildest dreams. Thank you. Remember guys, dream it. Believe it. Achieve it. If you don't achieve it, you haven't dreamt it. Remember. Come on. Yeah, but when you're like here, you kind of have to let it like go up, like chuck it up. So much right up off my chest. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's up. It's up. So when you let it fly from here, the only way it's going to go is up. Like it's just not going to go down. So it's so you're not kind of over like that because it's a smaller diameter stone. You're kind of hugging it in yeah. onto your chest, yeah. and as you get up, popping it up your chest. Yeah. Pop, pop. 
Come on, hard. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. it's so much different. It's not the weight. See, it's not the weight, it's the height. I'm quite lucky that I could throw it, but uh, it's so much harder. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that. These ones could feel easier because you're not extending as much. So, but these are normal height. And sometimes as well, when you're bigger, your diameters are harder to put your move. Felt like, yeah, you're more like, like when you're grabbing at the gut. You've got a bigger one, it's easier to do. <laughs> nice. Nice. Really good. Gym finished, that was. Possibly one of the best sessions for me for prep. Every session I've been doing gym uh, events wise, I've been really enjoying it, really, really hitting it hard. So, as you can see, my log is flying, yoke's getting faster and faster every week. Nickel stone grip's feeling strong, and then, well, I, RFC uh, supply, surprised us with that stone platform, and that's the first stone, proper stone platform I've ever trained with. So, it was nice that I'm decent at stones already, so I tend to do it even better. Did one set there, I felt sitting a wee bit in my bicep on the 180, that's why I uh, lapped it, but all in all, a very good session and we just keep improving. Um, heavy set of stones like giant, so probably next week take out the 200 and have a play of that, but yeah. Guys, thanks for watching, stay safe, smile, stay spicy, and please keep ringing that little bell. I'm driving. Guys, so today I'm gonna walk you through the walk press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 